Hi guys, it's Alex here. Hope you are all well. Today I'll do a quick update on Tesla news and the potential of the company to grow. When UBS upgraded Tesla from neutral to buy, Tesla stock price has gone up more than 3% at $762 in the first hours of the market. But then the negative sentiment from the markets kicked in and the stock price retraced back to $719, closing with a loss of almost 1%. According to investing.com, Tesla stock gains on UBS upgrade to buy as future is brighter than ever. Shares of Tesla are up over 3% pre-open Thursday after UBS analyst Patrick Hummel upgraded to buy from neutral. The $1,100 per share price target is maintained while it offers over 50% upside potential. The analyst says Tesla's future and operational outlook are stronger than ever before due to record high order backlog and two new gigafactories ramping up, margin momentum after the Q2 dip, auto gross margin should structurally exceed 30% and a structural competitive edge in key supply chain. Hamel is especially positive about Tesla's structural competitive advantage in mission critical areas. The analyst sees the electric vehicle maker best position to become one of the top three global car makers by 2030. We expect Tesla's vertical integration in semiconductors, software, and battery to result in superior absolute growth and profitability in the years ahead. Integration represents a strong competitive edge in an environment of structurally tight supply chains. Batteries are the next industry-wide bottleneck in our view. Tesla can outgrow peers with a combination of in-house cell capacity, its lead versus global competitors in using LFP cells and its high share of directly sourced battery commodities, lithium above all. The analyst sees six catalysts that could help Tesla stock prices to recover going forward. First, Shanghai production back to normal June. Sequentially, weaker Q2 results July. Another AI day possibly with news about FSD and the humanoid robot August. Steepening Berlin and Austin ramp up curve. Auto gross margin sustainably exceeding 30% Q3 and Q4 results. Cybertruck launch in 2023. Finally, Hummel sees an attractive entry point for a solid high growth business. There are some headwinds in uh, China for Tesla. Tesla's China, Tesla's China output declined trending deeper than Elon Musk forecast. Data and internal memos shows. Shanghai. Production at Tesla Shanghai factory is on track to fall by over a third this quarter from the first three months of the year as China's zero COVID lockdowns caused deeper disruptions to output that Elon Musk had predicted. The US automaker is aiming to make more than 71,000 vehicles at its Shanghai plant in June, according to an internal production memo seen by Reuters. Together with 44,301 units it produced in April and May, according to data from China Passenger Car Association, that would add up to around 115,000 units in the second quarter. In the first three months of the year, Tesla Shanghai manufactured 178,000 cars, according to CPCA. Tesla, be careful, competition is coming. <laughs> I think when Tesla employees see this news, they think of it as a joke to autonomous driving. Let's see what it's all about. Hyundai launches driverless ride hailing service in Korea. 
The manufacturer is using the level 4 autonomous Ionic 5 equipped for its RoboRide service opened in Seoul, Gangnam district. Last year Hyundai showed off its autonomous Ionic 5 capable of level 4 self-driving and now it is being put to use as part of a driverless ride hailing service open today in Seoul, South Korea. However, unlike similar services in America that have already started offering completely driverless rides, these robo rides from Hyundai will always have a safety driver on board. And the real joke is here. It's funny. The reason the service only works in one district out of 25 that make up the city is because Hyundai had to collaborate with the local government in order to make the traffic lights in the area smart so that they can communicate with self-driving vehicles. This process began in 2019 and since then the manufacturer has been testing its autonomous tech gathering what is described as copious data. Tesla is driving itself using vision and uh, Hyundai has to use smart traffic lights to drive itself around the city that's crap and last I added the most interesting facts from a channel I greatly admire connecting the dots let's watch only this part on capitalism AI experts and Tesla growth. Puzzle. She also gave another reason, and the interplay of both is astounding. So here's what she said. They'll grow that big because it's capitalism 101, owning the means of production. Capitalism was formed when there were fewer jobs than potential workers, so it focused on how capital, or money, lets you own the machines and factories, which were the limiting factor of production. If at the time there was a surplus of machines and not enough workers, labor would become the limiting factor of production, and capital would enable you to hire workers for your machines, while your competitors' machines remain idle. Capital lets you have both machines and workers, but the idea remains the same. Those who own all limiting factors of production win over those who don't. Most people don't realize it yet, but the economy is becoming heavily dependent on AI. Everything will soon have AI. Your smartphone, your car, your fridge and washing machine, and even your kids' toys. But only a few realize the shortage there is in good AI designers. So sure, even low-rent AI engineers can make simple toys. But for advanced stuff, you need real smart designers, and there is a huge shortage in them. She then told me that she feels that every time she mentions AI hiring pains, I get anxious and want to get back to Tesla. So I should bear with her. She has a point, and it's not just her thinking this. It is a huge problem worldwide, and it directly relates to why Tesla will succeed. Going back to quoting her, There is a global shortage in AI designers, and they are becoming the limiting factor of production. Continuing the capitalism argument, this means that those who are able to get good AI people will win. Now tell me, do you know how many people are in Tesla's AI team? I told her the vision team is about 20 guys. Okay. I guess we can agree at least some of them are exceptional. Now imagine there were two Tesla companies starting work on FSD at the same time, and the only difference between these companies is that Tesla A has 20 exceptional AI designers, including Carpathy, while Tesla B only has one exceptional guy, which isn't Carpathy, plus anything between 20 to 2,000 very good engineers. I have no doubt that Tesla B could succeed someday, but Tesla A would be years ahead of Tesla B on FSD, and will reach it at a fraction of the cost. Tesla B would become irrelevant. That's why I said AI designers are becoming the limiting factor. Before AI day, Tesla was a small magnet for AI talent because most people didn't even know it was an AI company, and those that did perceived it as a car company before all. Tesla's magnet was small, and other companies have magnets too. Google has them, I have them, we all have our magnets. So outliers often preferred working at a pure software play like Google, or do something sexy to save the planet like we're doing here. But things have changed. Tesla slammed its magnet to the ground midfield and made a magnet much denser, and it will soon start pulling talent from all around. And the more they pull, the denser they will be. So there's even a risk of it turning into a black hole that sucks up any talent they have their sights on. Google and Facebook, and even us, 
We'll all manage to get some great talent, but as a whole, Tesla will be a quantum leap ahead of everyone. They don't need to take too much. Just getting 100 of the best 500 AI designers worldwide to work with a mission will make them unbeatable. Add to that that they will probably train their networks on the best training computer, and really, nobody will catch them. Interesting, right? I put the link to this video in the description below, so you can watch it all. It's very interesting from uh, Connecting the Dots. Subscribe to his channel also. Okay, now, do you think Tesla can become the biggest company in the world? Leave a comment below. If you like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. See you next time.